Hello, hello, guys. You're listening to Beauty Bites with Dr. K, Secrets of a Plastic Surgeon. And today on the podcast, I am interviewing the very lovely Shauna Ryder, who is founder of Alaya Naturals. And she was diagnosed with an autoimmune condition at a young age, went through a pregnancy journey, and decided to come up with her own line of superfoods. So welcome to the podcast, Shauna. Thank you, Dr. K. Thank you so much for having me. So you've developed a company with a line of clean, organic superfood supplements. What inspired you to create a line and um, how did that idea grow into a successful business? Well, it began after the birth of my son, Max, um, based on pure exhaustion (laughs) primarily. You know, when you're breastfeeding and awake around the clock with a newborn baby, it's really hard to have your nutritional needs met. So I had... um, I had looked into what was available on the market, wasn't finding what I was looking for, and decided to take matters into my own hands. And how many kids do you have? I have two. My son, Max, is five, Uh and my daughter, Maya Luna, is three. Oh, cute names. I love that. Thank you. And are you, how do you even do that? Like develop a business and run it from home during quarantine? We're speaking during quarantine, so are you homeschooling and everything? Well, at that age, homeschooling, in quotes, is very (laughs) improvisational. You know, it's hard to maintain um, interest at that age and being online and and not having that interactive experience. So everything that was offered to them was optional, and they primarily opted out of those experiences and opted into being naked in the sprinklers and, you know, taping Uh, popsicle sticks onto the walls and doing things that were (laughs) um, more more entertaining than educational but um, it's been a very improvisational time and we're taking it day by day just like everybody else so tell me about your autoimmune condition because I know that that's a big part of your history and the reason that you decided to come up with the line of superfoods Um, If you're open to discussing what you were born with and how it took a toll on you, um, not only as a child, but after you had your kids as well. And can you tell me how that's played such a large part in your life? Absolutely. So I have a condition called leukopenia. It's uh, basically that my body doesn't produce a sufficient number of white blood cells. And as we know, especially during COVID times, that's what our body requires to really protect us against disease and autoimmune dysfunction. So um, it's been a disadvantage in some ways, but has inspired me to look more deeply into my health and what I need to nourish myself more comprehensively and holistically. Mm. Um, So really from a very early age, I was forced to examine the different areas of wellness that would support my overall well-being. And nutrition just kept coming up as the most important thing. So after my son was born and exhaustion set in and I didn't feel like I could consume the kinds of nutrients I needed to replenish myself efficiently, Mm -hmm. I started looking for something to supplement, um, you know, in terms of just getting all of those nutritional requirements met. I did not find anything that I really was craving on the market. And so I decided to start my own line. That's a huge decision. Was that after, um, you know, pregnancy, birth, childbirth, and right when you had a newborn, you were like, I have a newborn, I'm going to also develop a superfood (laughs) product line. It grew into that. It grew into that. I actually um, was so passionate about um, wanting something that would be accessible to me as a breastfeeding mom, that the original concept was to have a nutrition line that was specifically for new mothers, pregnant mothers, and breastfeeding mothers. And then I kind of had a moment where I thought, well, I'm not going to be pregnant and breastfeeding for the rest of my life. (laughs) So Mm -hmm. I'm going to invest all of my energy into nutrition that I want um, to be a part of my arsenal in the long run. I I need to kind of have a broader perspective about what my body will need now and 20 years from now. So So if I think in the middle of COVID, we're all super concerned with what products we should all be taking, Mm -hmm. Um, you know, just because this is the time where we've all heard about vitamin D, we've heard about zinc, high dose vitamin C. Mm -hmm. Um, Can you speak to that in terms of like, what are the best um, immune boosters that you can take on and what maybe is a great daily regimen for the average 
person right. of our age. Well, I think everything you've mentioned is totally valid and important. I would say the number one thing, honestly, is a fantastic probiotic. Mm. And the reason for that is that we know that a lot of our immune health and our gut health is dependent on our microbiome. Mm -hmm. We've got this whole ecosystem in our gut that largely influences our immune system, our mood, our anxiety levels, potentially. I mean, the research is phenomenal. Um, but right now, more than ever, we really need to focus on immune building uh, nourishment. And so the probiotic would actually be my number one recommend. Mm -hmm. um, I love curcumin because it's anti-inflammatory and we know that inflammation can really suppress the immune system. So um, for our people listening, that's the active ingredient in turmeric, right? So Absolutely. Yeah. Um, olive leaf extract is also incredible because it's antimicrobial, antibacterial, antiviral, anti-everything basically. Um, so those are the three goodies that I always have in my medicine cabinet. How are you taking olive leaf extract? Is that something liquid that you add to? Um, you know? I, sell, I sell it in capsule form. Um, oh. It's a little bit less offensive, a little bit less abrasive. and. Ah less potent tasting, um, just palatable and easy. So I think for the average adult in the United States that we are calcium deficient, every single patient I talk to, every woman at least that comes through my office for aesthetic procedures, mm. I, I often ask about that because I think so much of aging is related to bone density changes. Mm -hmm. And I think that none of my patients take the recommended daily allowance of calcium. Mm -hmm. And if anything, they're getting like milk in, in one latte a day um, or a little bit of ice cream a day. <laughs> well, but if you're like, going to do it, do it that way. Do it that way. Right? <laughs> but like everyone's calcium deficient and they don't realize that that bone density is so important and so dependent on calcium. And, and additionally, I think that 50% of women are probably iron deficient leading mm. to because of going through a lifetime of, you know, childbirth periods, heavy periods, hem you know, getting fibroids and getting heavy bleeding episodes and menopause. So I think that women just really are underdiagnosed with that. And that causes hair loss. I would say half of my hair loss patients are in, you know, iron deficient anemia patients as really? well. Yeah. So I don't know if you have any thoughts on calcium and the proper way to take it and how many well, milligrams actually, daily. It, it's not something that I, um, that's in my sort of uh, line in my collection of supplements. But my understanding of calcium is that absorption wise, you actually want to take calcium in conjunction with two things, vitamin D3 and K2. Mm -hmm. That unless those are active components of whatever supplement you're taking, um, you're not only not absorbing the calcium, but it may actually be hazardous to your health. So I think anything to sort of understand in general about supplementation is that if the quality of your supplements are potent, um, then they are going to have an effect on your body and you want to take them properly. And in isolation, not all supplements are relevant to the body or bioavailable to the body are meant to be taken apart from other things that either help break it down or absorb it. Um, so I would just recommend anyone who's taking a calcium supplement to to do your due diligence and make sure that those other ingredients are in whatever vitamin you choose. Yeah, definitely. And, and also I think it's best taken with um, an acidified environment, like taking vitamin C together with iron often increases absorption of iron and for calcium um, as well to take it with food, with the food source is often the best way. And getting yes. your vitamins through Real your foods, food, of just course. in general. I mean, so I'm a pescatarian, so I'm always sort of at risk for iron deficiency, I feel. Mm -hmm. And I'm very aware of, you know, eating almonds and dark leafy greens and some, you know, fermented soy products and getting my, my iron that way. Mm -hmm. um, but I've also taken New Chapter actually makes a great liquid iron supplement. Um, it's kind of like a a more holistic version of Floridix. Hmm. And I, I take that daily when I feel a little bit drowsy. I can tell by my energy level if I'm iron deficient. So I'm, I'm a big believer in supplementing for iron. But, you, you know, everything needs to be um, taken with the understanding that, you know, you're not, um, you're not arbitrarily putting things in your body, that there's a rhyme and a reason for what you're doing. 
Exactly. Um, tell us a little bit about how the average consumer can go into a health food store or a whole foods market. And there's so many vitamin brands and companies, it's a little bit overwhelming. How do we even know like what to look for on a label, what to trust? It's really hard. I mean, I didn't. I, I didn't know what to trust. That's why I started my own line, to be honest with you. I felt like, you know, unless you do a lot of research on sourcing, um, how environmentally conscious is the organization? What's their worth ethic? Do they promote fair trade practices? Um, you know, what are the manufacturing standards of where they're producing and packaging their products? Um, you know, there are so many variables that, that play into choosing supplementation that for me, um, you know, it, was, it really boiled down to not knowing who I could trust and what I couldn't trust. And that was a big part of, of this journey was kind of pulling together the business partners and the, and the people in my life who could help, help me really establish something that felt sacred and pure and um, kind of establishing a new standard. So tell me a little bit more about superfoods and, um, you know, maybe like your green blends and what are the superfoods that we should eat organically in our diet and then also maybe to take as a blend product? Well, superfoods are amazing in general. Um, I think I think that even if you're a you know a pescatarian or a carnivore, however you eat, my kids love meat, my husband loves meat. I'm a pescatarian. We know based on studies that you know the more diversity of plant-based foods you have in your diet, the healthier the integrity of your gut microbiome is. So. I don't know about you, but I don't sort of spend my day chopping vegetables and getting, you know, they say at least 30 different species of plant-based foods are recommended on a weekly basis. And that variety takes a lot of awareness and calculation. And especially now during the time of COVID, I feel like grocery shopping is a completely different experience. You know, we really have to think ahead more. We, I don't know about you, I'm not going to the grocery store right now very frequently and you know when i do purchase food or have food delivered or have things picked up i'm buying more in bulk because we want to try to avoid the experiences that are either expensive or feel unsafe mm -hmm. so um that the diversity i think in our diets has decreased a lot during this time which is why it's so handy and efficient to have a superfoods blend that includes so many nourishing beautiful micronutrients that you don't have to have to worry about the diversity during this time you can just you know grab a scoop put it in your smoothie and be done with it so my particular superfood blend for the greens powder also includes antioxidants and adaptogens and a probiotic. So it's pretty comprehensive. Nice. What adaptogens are in there? And um, maybe talk a little bit about what, what an adaptogen is for those of our listeners that don't know. Uh, so adaptogens um, are, are beautiful in that they basically respond to what exactly is going on in your body. Mm -hmm. So, you know, our body has uh, all of these messages that are being sent um, constantly that may or may not um, require more of something or less of something to balance our hormones. And adaptogens sort of know specifically what's going on with your body and adapt accordingly, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. So um, our blend is pretty fabulous. You know, I think one of the issues that, that I've had in the past is sort of not knowing how to mix and match things. So I'd line up like 50 different bottles on my counter and just kind of throw things in. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, ashwagandha is fabulous. Maca, moringa is wonderful. There's so many beautiful adaptogens um, that we you know, don't even know on a daily basis kind of how to include them and incorporate them. So I just decided to take my favorites and throw them in. I also included the probiotic because like I said, I think it's important, you know, as a starting point to get that and not everyone is going to both make a smoothie and take a supplement mm -hmm. the same day. And I think yeah. we're all, we're all pretty pressed for time and energy. So sometimes it's like one or the other, you know, I might remember to take my supplement or get my smoothie in, but uh, people don't necessarily do both. That's kind of true. 
Um, but as long as you have something, like I, I also think there's a lot of benefit in mixing up your regimen. Like if you do take just the same old pills every day or the same supplements, you know, you might miss some critical micronutrients or elemental minerals or stuff. So I think having that variety and forgetfulness plays a role too, where you forget I, and you take it <laughs> or you go, you know, you go off and on it. It's like your antihistamines. If you're every day on the same antihistamine, you get tachyphylaxis or this phenomenon where it, your body is then resistant to its function. So you do need to switch mm. drugs or classes. Periodically. Kind of surprise the body and let yeah. it wake up. You know, it still mm. needs to do its job. Exactly. So I think that's awesome, but it's, it's definitely easy. Is it easy to put um, superfoods in your kid's diet with um, a blend like that? Yeah. You know, they just love chocolate. So I <laughs> use it. <a> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> That's cheating. <laughs> no. I use chocolate as the base. So it's either a chocolate protein powder or just chocolate almond milk or something like that. And then I can pretty much put anything in. I use fro frozen acai as the base for a lot of their smoothies, um, frozen mixed berries, frozen peaches, and then I can throw in anything and it's disguised. They actually, kids have very uh, acute palates and sometimes it's harder <laughs> to trick them. So you have to play with you know, proportions, because yeah. it's like just a little tiny bit more than they're used to. And they know something's up. It's like, wait a minute, it doesn't taste as chocolatey as usual. So <laughs> I just usually throw in more chocolate and reblend if that's necessary. But my kids, my kids are used to the taste, you know, I think with kids in general, and frankly, with adults, so much of what we enjoy is just what we have assimilated to. Yeah. And what our palate, you know, has grown familiar with. So you know, if your kid has never had anything in a smoothie before at all, then even just the texture of a smoothie may be weird for them, you know, so it's baby steps. Definitely. If you had to recommend one product that was best for increased energy and alertness, what would that be in terms of like, you know, a supplement or a superfood people could eat that just gives them that kick of energy? I think it's the, the super greens blend. Um, you know, I think that that in, in conjunction with collagen is the ideal partnership. And um, if you're at the grocery store, what kind of greens would that be? And if you're going to blend your own smoothie with greens in it? With, with well, I, I sell a, a powder, the powdered greens, the organic greens. No, I mean, if you're in the vegetable aisle and oh, you're just buying yeah. the greens. Oh, well, so I, anything you, you can possibly put in there is amazing because like I said, if you can get a minimum of 30 different plant species in your diet on a weekly basis, you've got a much higher probability of having a really healthy, balanced microbiome. So I would mix and match. I mean, celery is, is pretty um, benign in its flavor. Spinach, of course, kale. Um, but I put everything in a smoothie that isn't overly bitter because then I won't even drink it. Um, broccoli sprouts are amazing. They're a little bit bitter. Mm -hmm. um, but if you can throw sprouts in as well, that's a beautiful addition. It's very um, you know, antioxidant packed and nutrient dense. Um, you can throw endive into a smoothie. Um, I mean, I would just encourage people to experiment with whatever they haven't tried already because, you know, romaine and iceberg and spinach are ones that we more com commonly gravitate towards. But throwing in a little bit of cilantro and changing the flavor profile of your smoothie, instead of being sweet, maybe trying a, a spicy smoothie with some pineapple and ginger and cilantro and parsley can really kind of change things up. That sounds kind of good. I think I'll try that. <laughs> yeah, I've been, I've been on a smoothie kick recently and, you know, it gets boring. Yeah, it so. does get to be the same bland thing, but the spicy or, you know, bringing in a little pepper to boost the effect of your curcumin is good too. Mm. So, well, today you're stronger, healthier, and more present in all areas of your life. It sounds like you're really um, producing a great product with your superfoods blend and I um, think that we have a lot to learn, like you said, about probiotics and adding different species of plants into the diet to really make us healthy. So yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, you know, it's, it's it's moment by moment, just kind of listening to your body and going, hmm, what's going on today? Do I need more energy? Am I feeling lethargic? And then kind of tuning into 
what your body needs. The supplementation is beautiful. So is a nap sometimes, you know, so mm -hmm. is a laugh. So is turning on comedy before you go to bed. You know, there's so many different ways to elevate um, our spirit and our bodies. And I think it's a holistic approach that tends to be the most effective. That's very true. And I really hope that people will um, try to focus more this year on being bringing more plants into their diet. And just because it does change the biome of the gut, the things that we eat when we eat heavy carbs and heavy glycemic index foods or um, foods that have a lot of saturated fats, it encourages a certain type of bacteria to grow in the colon and it changes your metabolism and processing of those fats. And when you eat more fiber, of course, you know that binds dietary fat and plants um, bring in biotics into your system. So they're prebiotic and probiotic and just gonna definitely change your microbiome of your gut. So if anybody listening does anything just to add more plant basis to their diet would be great, whether in the form of a superfoods powder or just like going to the drugstore or the grocery store and you know, really stocking up on things that are vibrantly colored for your, from your vegetable aisle. Those mm, are the variety high. of colors. So yeah. important. if you can get as many different colors into your diet in one day, the better off you'll be for sure. Exactly. Well, That's where can people find setup. you, Shauna, on your various handles? Where can people find you, reach out and get more info? Yeah, we're at alionnaturals.com. And uh, we, we sell our products both directly from our website and on Amazon. Well, I can't wait to try the chocolate flavor <laughs> superfoods. It sounds delicious. Thank you. Well, congratulations on coming out with this, such a great product and your vision and the clarity of bringing that into women's lives for after for men and women, but especially I think it speaks really to my audience, which is a lot of women who are really focused on health, wellness, and beauty. So can't thank you enough for coming on with us. Thank you for having me. I so appreciate it. You have gorgeous yeah. skin, by the way. So I want to sign up for whatever program you're running over. Well, there. that's my skincare <laughs> line. <laughs> oh, amazing. Okay. I'll look, I'll be looking into that. That's right. right. Now. Topically applied, high dose vitamin C, hyaluronic acid for dewy glow glycolic wash to eat up the dead skin cells actually i used my glow peel pads last night so that's why. oh so that there's the shimmer and shine i'm seeing do you take collagen as well i do i do take a lot of collagen in my diet and turmeric i'm a big fan of turmeric um every morning turmeric with lemon water intermittent fasting so yes, just, i just like, started doing that doing wow. a lot of different things that are just changing my perspective i think but my kids are grown. You probably are in the throes of like this constant activity of childhood. I'm in the but, throes of everything. <laughs> yeah. And I'm in the, but I think I've had more time this year to think about how I want to change my diet and evolve. And like, you know, you reach a point in life where you're like, okay, I can live the next 25 years super healthy, or I can mm -hmm. gradually deteriorate and keep on just like living without thinking about what I'm doing in my body. So I'm at that fork in the road and I'm doing all the positive things. I'm so happy to hear that. You yeah. look amazing. So whatever you're doing, keep on, keep on doing. <laughs> Thank you. Well, everyone should go and check out Shauna and Alaya Naturals, and hopefully you'll try some of her superfood greens and her collagen. And don't forget to find me on my Instagram. It's beauty by Dr. K, D-R-K-A-Y. And you can listen to our podcast on Tuesdays. We do a longer podcast every Friday, a five-minute Friday. It's available on iTunes and Spotify and everywhere you can hear podcasts. And um, our website is beautybydrk.com where you can check out vitamins and superfoods for the skin <laughs> with my skincare <laughs> line. That's it for now, guys. Thanks again, Shauna. Stay Thank beautiful. Thank you so much, Dr. K. Take care. Bye. Bye. Stay beautiful, guys.